السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شراغلست Hi, welcome to Afghan Cooks. I'm Miriam. I'm the Afghan who cooks. Today, I'm the Afghan who drinks. I am making shir chai, kamak chai. Y'all thought you've had chai before, but you have not had authentic shir chai yet. This is a multi-step process. You have to have plenty of time to make this tea. It's not fast. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Let's go. So I have four cups of whole milk and two cups of heavy cream. We're gonna add And then we want this to come to a boil. We're just aerating this to create some bubbles. I think the theory is if you have some bubbles on the surface, it will create the cream, the clot, the clotting of the cream will be a little bit easier. I saw one video where the person said to do this for 10 minutes. But since we're boiling this gently and we're not leaving here, does the bawartha what did you do? You want to stir it so it doesn't burn, stick to the bottom, but you just want to stir it until it starts to boil, okay? You can see it's nice and thick, it's getting ready to boil. Now we're going to turn it down. You see it started to boil? We're going to turn it down to medium low. And now we're not going to touch it. We're not touching it. Don't stir it. Don't look at it. Just let it sit there and we come back and check on it in 30 minutes, okay? This has been on here on a medium low simmer for about two hours and 15 minutes. If you can see that nice layer of cream on the top that has been cooking for quite a while. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna skim this top part off now. And now we're gonna do that same thing all over again. We're gonna let this keep cooking and then we're gonna scrape it again. The kemak is ready and so now we're gonna do the chai part of the shir chai. And I have about four cups of water. I've got this green tea and it's loose green tea. This is a super popular brand. Three tablespoons of tea. And we're gonna let that come to a boil. You should have your other ingredients that I forgot to get. One of those ingredients is baking soda. So you need baking soda for this. I told you this is advanced. This is in fact advanced tea making. The other thing you're gonna need is access to some ice cubes quickly because once this is ready, and you'll see what I mean by ready, once it's ready, you need some ice cubes to cool it down very quickly. Now, wet, what I made before for you, what I've made for before has been something we call mix or dut petit, even though everyone gets really mad at that statement, okay? It is shir chai, but it is like shir chai light, all right? It's just tea and milk and that's it. Super simple, super basic. You add some spices, okay? But it's not this. Real Afghan shir chai is time consuming. This tea alone is going to take us about 15 minutes. The other thing we need is we need sugar to taste. We need milk. Of course, we need cardamom. Oh, I'm running out. Now what do I do? While you're waiting for your tea to come to a boil, make sure you have another pot of the same size or larger because you are going to aerate this. You can see now this foam on the top of the tea is white. And soon, it will be pink. Shirchaye is the Pashto word for the color pink. Shirchaye. I don't know what it is in Dari. If you know, leave a comment down below. Maybe it's the same word. And Shirchai means milk tea. So the color of milk tea is pink, hence the name Shirchaye. See, you came here for the cooking. Magram dad, soon you shined is the karija. Huh? So now it's starting to boil and you want to leave it to boil probably for about 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes 
and the tea is nice and dark. Okay, so now that you've boiled your tea, it's been boiling for 10 minutes, we're gonna add our baking soda. It's a half a teaspoon. You have to be quick, because it could boil over, right? So you wanna, whoa! And you're gonna let that boil again for a few minutes until the foam, see that foam? Until it turns red. Now that it's turned this pinkish color, this is when we wanna add the ice cubes to stop it from cooking anymore so we can keep that color. Now we move on to the next step, which is straining the tea and aerating it. If you're wearing a white sweater like I am, just a series to spin chai You should probably change. I'm gonna go put on a apron. I'll be right back. Now we work. Do this. Okay, okay, at least five minutes, up to 10 minutes. You don't have to use all of this. This will keep for about a week or two in the fridge and you can use it anytime you want. Okay, if you want to make more, because this is very time consuming, right? This took you about half an hour to make this tea. So if you make a big, big pot of it, you can have it for many days. Now what you do is you turn the heat back on and you add your milk until you get the pink color that you want. Ready? Now we're gonna add sugar, and you can add as much or as little as you want. This is about a cup. I'm gonna start with about half of this. Oh. We're also gonna add some cardamom. Remember we made our kemak? That was the first part. Now kemak is basically clotted cream, and you can eat it with anything that you would eat clotted cream with. I think that the British have it on scones. You can have it on bread. We eat it in Chai. So this is how you would serve it. Sure, this comes to a boil first so it gets nice and hot. So when you serve it, it's always nice to have a clear glass. We have a couple of different kinds. And then here we have our bowl of kamak. It looks like uh, ice cream. I'm going to add a scoop of that. It melts right in there and adds another layer of richness and fat. When you make shir chai, make sure you have plenty of time for relaxation. You have some cookies, maybe some dried fruit, and a good book. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. While you're here, you might as well subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time we have a new video. And also drop us a comment. Bye, until next time.